show starts off with a journey of a man who spent his entire youth transversing the African continent, collecting artifacts which he later used in his life to decorate what is the now the famous five floors of the Serena Hotel. I'm speaking about the lost African art which will be happening right after this. This is the Ideal Space TV show. My name is Tim Jiro. Karibu. week on the show we gave you the story of the Nairobi Serena the highs the lows and just how this place moved from becoming a regular spot for heads on beds to becoming one of the leading hotels in the world this week we went deeper to explore a very interesting element that makes the Nairobi Serena the ideal space for anyone looking for inspiration in the world of interiors These are copies, of course, from the 14th century. Like this is a queen, the mother of a king, and she has coral beads woven into her hair because coral was the royal bead after the Portuguese brought coral to Africa. Our first stop was at the lobby that features textiles from across Africa, including beadwork, sculptures, and gold weights using the lost wax process that are fast going out of production. Kuba is a, is a kingdom in central Congo and you can still buy these wonderful Kuba cloths which had a huge impact on world art. Picasso was influenced by Kuba cloth. Matisse's art was based on Kuba cloth. I'll show you another example over here. A very abstract pattern because it's woven of palm fiber and then clipped like a velvet so it has this plush texture. And these were used for kneeling mats for the kings and other things. And it had this kind of cloth had a tremendous impact on world art. Another unique costume. This is a beaded cape worn by men of the Dinka. The women have a different uh, style of cape and the men wear this kind of cape. Next we make a dash to the five floors that house the hotel rooms. The corridor carpet ties the outer look of the public spaces to the guest rooms in a seamless flow from one room to the next. Paint and mouldings on the ceilings, then comes the soft furnishings that adorn the wall. Fourth floor is Kuba again. The cloth is woven by both men and women of palm fiber. This is an old one decorated with shells that was worn probably by royalty with the little balls along the edge. And over here you find a more modern version. But see the abstract design, you can see why this influenced the modern artists when they were looking for abstract ways of expressing themselves instead of painting kings or cows. What we pick from this one is a story of the many African textiles that tell the diversity of the continent, some of which bring out the attractive attributes the hotel has kept from its inception. I asked them when they were going to redo the corridors, which followed after what I did downstairs, and I said I would like to show the vanishing textiles of Africa which were all disappearing and Prince Amin said that's a very good idea because he's all for preserving and protecting art so this is why I did the textile collections over here are not textiles but this is a, a wonderful mask that did also uh, influence Picasso and the modern artists it's well known for that 
Alan Donovan, the man who brought Lost African Art Concept to Serena, believes that this is the only way the hotel was going to maintain its timeless look and feel of African art. This is a Corogo cloth, which is Ivory Coast. And this is also woven by men on strips and used basically for ceremonies. For nearly 40 years, Arlen has searched for the continent's beauty and creativity passing through the glorious sunrises and the magnificent sunsets that encompass the splendor and the calamity of each new day. His passion to preserve the African heritage is one that rubs off very easily. This is Lambamina, which is used for that ceremony called the turning of the dead. There's a woman weaving it. Do they do that up to now? Yes, they still do. Good. If you look in the Couture Africa issue today, you'll see they've done a feature on this. fashion and design this week we explore how laser cut wood can create a feature wall for your ideal space this is a three bedroom house that has outdone itself in harnessing the power that comes with paint and the finesse and character that wood possesses. The latest trend and fashion in interior design is screen work, which serves as a 3D stencil pattern. You've got this wooden frame which is laser cut and then it's been painted over with a gloss paint to give it that shine. And this forms a three-dimensional stencil feature wall. What you can do is you could take this off at any point and put it elsewhere, or you could use the space that are in between and play with different colors. Let your imagination run wild. You're not limited to what sort of a pattern, what sort of colors you want to achieve in your space. You could then ideally lift this off, and this would have been a stencil, which is now uh, uh, with the whiteout spaces would then be colored in different colors and this part the 3d part would itself be something that you could now put as a headboard behind your bed or it could like even form a feature on your ceiling space which is now again tying together what pattern you've got existed in paint and what pattern you've got existing in three-dimensional is sort of one so it doesn't look like you've got too many different things happening it is still the same sort of shape the same sort of design and the same sort of detailed concept that we're looking at in terms of featuring your interiors but you know, doesn't that sound too busy having the stencil on your wall and then having the same thing on the ceiling not necessarily it could be something that we find busy as individuals but as for another individual that that could be something that they want to achieve if it's a room that is completely white walls you've got this very beautiful very intricate colored feature that's happening and ideally like you see it it's not the entire wall it's a section of the wall so you could choose you could just do a strip this way or you could do a strip this way or central you could just do one strip that is stencil and then you have the entire screen forming like a photo across as a wall texture but from what we learned from Shrinal is that this unique piece is actually a stencil. What you see here is a laser cut stencil which is wooden and then they've used a gloss paint over it to give it the, the color that it is and the color at the back is what was the base coat what was the antler coat of the wall and what happens is this forms a three-dimensional stencil which stays here as it is forming this feature in the future you can remove this stencil as a whole frame as a whole screen and place it somewhere else within your space uh, what you see here is a laser cut stencil which is wooden and then they've used a gloss paint over it to give it the color that it is and the color at the back is what was the base coat what was the under coat of the wall and what happens is this forms a three-dimensional stencil which stays here as it is forming this feature in future you can remove this stencil as a whole frame as a whole screen and place it somewhere else within your space laser cutting is an ideal application
application for adding detail to wood panels as it gives you the ability to design with greater freedom than many other machining processes available. Weeks back, we talked of armor coat finishes. This, to me, visually looks like an armor coat finish. Would I be telling the truth here? No, this is not armor coat. This is a replica, but this is not armor coat. Uses of laser cut fretwork span across furniture making, wall adornment, and frame crowns and base mouldings, river divider panels, and much more. The pattern on this curtain, which is what has been used to create a feature, this pattern is exactly what has been laser cut and been placed on this as a feature wall. So we've got the chocolate brown as a flat paint on the back, and we've got the sort of creamish coffee color which is now the color of the screen. Um, this shows you that you're not limited to patterns. You're not limited to, you know, uh, you're not tied down to just having one thing available or what's readily available in the market. You can actually customize your entire feature wall by bringing out these designs that you have already existing in your space. If it's a new space, you don't always have to work with the color scheme first. You could buy your furniture, you could buy your curtains and whatever that you like and then come to us at Crown Paints. We will then look at what you've got available and then help you to decide what features you want to put, what colors you want to put and if there is a certain pattern that you want to bring up, you want to tie the design together, we can then direct you to the right people who can replicate this sort of a design that you have in either a three-dimensional stencil form or a two-dimensional stencil form as up to what the client chooses and wants to be created with. So, how does flat paint come into play and what are the intricacies involved? Uh, this is sort of a pleated pattern. This is sort of waves going vertical. So what you see downstairs is a horizontal wave and that's been painted with a glossy white. So it looks again like it's strips have left to its natural. The, the only good reason for gloss is that obviously the, the gloss is easy to clean. It's easy to wipe off with a wet cloth if there's any dust in it. And it also gives you that sort of a two-tone shine where then you can see this sort of depth because it's a three-dimensional sculpture there is light and shadow and when the actual um, artificial light or natural daylight falls on the sculpture the gloss helps it to shine out in parts which are indented and the parts that are recessed will have a little bit of a shadow space in association with classic moldings the home of creative interiors hi welcome to the trend this week and uh, today i'm going to show you how to apply a material called hypnos and hypnos is a very easy to apply material what you do is just putting it on top of the paint that you have in your house. You can put it on top of no paint. And with Hypnos, what it does is like magic. Because what it will do is it will give you texture, to give you a bit of glitter on it, and it also change the color that you have existing on the wall already. Then it's a two-step application, whereby now all what I need to do is to sand a bit the normal paint that I have on the wall, so that if I have any dirt on it or anything protruding on it, I cut down all that with the sandpaper. Then once I'm done with that, now I apply the hypnosis itself. Then depending on what kind of application technique I want, you can do the jeans texture, which is what I want to share with you today. Or you can do some wavy lines across on the wall, or you can do them Thank you. 
the board. Then once you've sanded just a little bit, just to remove this, you know, these small marks here, I can feel uneven areas like here. It's a bit uneven. So what I'm doing now, when I sand it, is to remove those small areas. So when you're sanding, don't sand too much to remove the paint from the wall. So what you do is you sand gently, because what you're doing is trying to remove the uneven areas and just allow it to be even. So don't really like sand it all down, because you need the color on your normal paint on the wall to be seen. So once you've done, use your brush, right, to remove the dust from the wall and unlike my board here where the board is lying flat if I'm doing a wall of course when I'm sanding most of the dust will come down but this little part As you can see 
see the ethnos is dry okay so what i want to do now is to come and do another coat on the other side then brush again so i begin the same process the same way we were doing it there but now you see i've changed my stroking i'm going the opposite direction so making sure my brush strokes are even and i'm not putting more here less there do a bit of it then you come in. at least a bit more uniform I have to make sure that I'm not putting a lot of the material as I move along transform your space with our amazing decorative finishes cornices for your interior and exterior the ideal space in partnership with classic moldings the home of creative interiors feel free to share with us your comment suggestions and design ideas you might want to see on the ideal space my name is tim we like to ask you every week is how ideal is your space? Bye for now.